in this video, we are going to be going over Lazy Knight's Royalty Mod update. I did do a review of this mod when it first came out, so if you have not seen that yet, you can check out that video at the link in the description below. In this video, I will be answering a few questions that I saw in my last Royalty Mod review video, and then of course we'll be going over all the new features added to this update as well. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's go ahead and take a look at this Royalty Mod update. So I do want to say first that I am not the creator of this mod, so any technical questions, please direct them to the creator, which is, I'm just going to call him Seb because I don't actually know if I'm pronouncing his username correctly. His real name is Sebastian or Seb, and then Lazy Knife is his username. I probably should have asked how to pronounce it before I did this review again. But I will put the link to his Tumblr in the description below, and I usually see him answering questions on his Tumblr, so if you have any questions, you can try to reach out to him. We will be using my Willow Creek royal family from my royal family series to demonstrate this update. In my last video, I had used my Wittenberg royal family to demonstrate even though the Willow Creek royal family was on the thumbnail, so I might switch it around this time. So I do want to just answer two questions that I saw a lot on my last royalty mod review video, and those were, will this still work without the Get Famous pack? Because the creator, he did say that he recommends having the Get Famous pack, and yes, it will, it's just that it won't use the reputation system that Get Famous has, so you you can still have the mod without it and it'll still be fun. It just doesn't have like the reputation system. And then another thing was that their titles weren't showing up or people couldn't get any interactions to show up. And that's probably because it's not downloaded correctly. So Seb addresses this on his website too. And he said, this is usually caused by the script file not being placed directly in the mods folder. So if it's not showing up, you probably had dragged the royalty mod folder to your mods folder, but you actually have to take out all of the files and then put it in your mod folder and make sure that there's no folders in your mods folder because otherwise it's not going to work. And then one other thing that Seb addresses on his website is that people were saying customizable titles were not changing. And he said, one, if you change titles multiple times within a short amount of time, titles can become stuck. And then two, depending on how fast your game runs, it can take up to one sim hour for the game to register the change. So just be patient. Try not to change the titles too often. All right. So the new features added to this update is that now we can have live-in servants that are NPCs, so we can have a royal servant, and then also we can inherit the traits, so now the crown royal trait can be inherited, and I'm not really going to address that in this game because I don't want to randomly make one of my royal families have babies when I don't want them to, but basically babies born from monarchy will now automatically get the crown royal trait, and then another thing is earning money, so now there's a very very simple job for monarchs that can allow them to provide for their family and also keeping with your play style. So I'll show you guys that as well. And then also more titles have been added. So that's really cool. And then just other small general fixes and bug fixes. So that's really nice too. So the first thing we're going to do is hire a royal servant, which is really cool. So it says servants are now hireable NPCs. They will no longer take up a valuable household slot, but will stay with your family and autonomously cook, clean, and look after the kids. You can assign them their own beds too. Servants are currently restricted to only one hireable NPC. I will change this as soon as I figure out how to, so I have kept the original servant trait too. Because in the original, when this mod first came out, you could designate someone as a royal servant, but they had to be an actual sim that lived in your household. So if you want, you can still do that if you want more than one. But I think you can also still hire a butler, so you can hire a butler and then a royal servant. But then Seb also says, I highly recommend Little Miss Sam's Ask to Cook mod as a companion for this. I didn't want to include the same exact code and step on anyone's toes. So I did download that as well. So I'm excited to actually try that out. So to get a royal servant, we need to go to the phone and hire a service and then scroll down. So servant, it has no cost, which is actually really cool. All right, so it says a servant has been sent for. They will arrive on Saturday at 11.03 a.m. That's a very specific time. So this 
is the royal servant that has been sent to us. It looks like she shows up in an actual maid's uniform, which is kind of cool, but I'm assuming you can switch their uniform if you want to and customize that. It does say servant over her name, which is really nice. And then of course you can still have your butler as well. So you technically have two royal servants. So the interactions that we can have with her, I am interested. We should probably do a royal greeting and actually introduce ourselves to our royal servant. Okay, so this is King Louis. I'm just going to put him in his more formal outfit. I don't know why, just so you guys can see it and get in the mood. Also, I did get this question a lot in my last video, I forgot, but these custom content, like their dresses and crowns and all that, that does not come with the mod. It does come with one create a sim item and a few build and buy items, but I didn't actually download those just because they were more medieval style. Actually, I lied. The thrones that, I'll show you in a second, but the thrones of the Willow Creek Palace are actually from this mod. But my custom content is on my Pinterest board, which the link to that is in the description below. And I have categorized things for like female dresses and crowns and tiaras and all that and like male clothing. So you guys can see that most of the clothing in like male and female clothing and also everything else, they're all royal related because I just play so much royal sims. So yeah, just so you guys know. Oh, he just did a bat. Oh, I've never seen that before. Oh my God, wait. Whoa, he just greeted and bowed to her. That's cool. I don't know. Would you do that though? Would the king bow to the sir? I don't know. But basically she will clean and cook for you and we don't have any toddlers or babies, but apparently they would take care of that as well. I can, by using this cook for me mod, and I'll link this in the description below as well. You can click on any, I think you can also click on a refrigerator, but any refrigerator or stove and you can ask them to cook for you, which is really cool. So cook a grand meal and, oh, oh yeah, okay, so yeah, cook a grand meal, you can ask your servant to do that, and you can pick exactly what you want, and then she'll start cooking for you, which is really nice, I love that actually, because this mod also comes with a royal banquet event, and if you have that, then you can actually ask your servant to cook food for you and you can tell them specifically what to cook, which is really nice because I've had situations where I've asked the butler to cook for our fancy dinner and then they'll cook like French toast and scrambled eggs. And I'm like, that's not what I want. And then she made our fancy little gourmet turkey dinner. So I guess this is what our royal family will be eating tonight. Will she clean though? Like if we have one of the kids, I feel like Prince Cornelius would just, I don't know, be a terror and make a huge mess. So he's making a mess. So will the servant, will she clean it? I wish you could ask them to clean. Oh, she does. <gasps> She is cleaning. That's like the nicest butler or servant I've ever had. Sometimes butlers, they just like don't even clean. Like I've had to hire a maid before, even though I have a butler because the butler wasn't doing their job. So that's really nice, guys. This is like an actual servant that does their job, but like they'll actually clean for you. I'm sure if we had a child that was crying, then they would take care of that too. So that's really nice. I actually really love this feature and I'm so excited to use this in my gameplay. Oh, really quickly too. I just want to let you guys know, I do have a playlist of helpful videos for my royal family series. So I have a video on there. Well, I have a video on there that has custom content links for royal sims or royal custom content. And then I also have a video on how to make your own royal family if you're curious. And when I made that, I actually didn't use any mod. When I first started this, I actually just used my imagination. I didn't use any mods or anything. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. And then of course, if you have not checked out my royal family series yet, then make sure you do that. And I will link the first episode of that in the description below as well. Okay, so that covers the servants, the royal servants. The next thing was just the inherited trade. So I mean, I just discussed that. So we're not going to actually show that. I'm not going to make Queen Corinne and King Louis just like have another baby randomly out of nowhere, specifically for this video. The next thing is earning money. So it says there is now a very simple job for monarchs that allows them to provide for their family whilst in keeping with your play style. It is a 10 to 3 rabbit hole job with a high pay grade. So your monarch can actually get paid for doing their monarchly duties. That's really nice because I had to register them with the Ministry of Labor, but I guess I'm still going to have to do that with princes. I'm actually not 100% sure. I guess we will find out. So I'm going to have him go to his phone and then we're going to have King Louis find a job. Oh, okay, cool. It says monarch of the land. Well, that's cool. But I think people were concerned because they didn't want random sims becoming monarchs and having this job. I've never really had an issue with random sims becoming like part of this career. So it's up to you, I guess. But it says monarch. So he works Monday through Fridays, 
10 a.m. to 3 p.m. He makes $275 per hour, which is pretty nice because there is actually a monarchy career mod and I will also link that video in the description below. But when you would start, oh my gosh, you wouldn't make like any money. It was like $100 maybe when you were the king or queen. Like you had to keep giving yourself a promotion just to be a little bit more realistic. But yeah, okay, well, this is like a good amount per hour, I feel like. If you saw my last video, you can also have a royal advisor and raise taxes and lower taxes and I'm pretty sure they get tax money once a week or something like that. So again, it's just a rabbit hole job. There's no like anything to work towards for your career. You just have to be the monarch. You do have a career performance. I'm sure that depends on if you actually show up to work or not, but you don't have tasks or anything, which I kind of like, because then I can just kind of do my own thing and I don't have to worry about them failing or getting fired or anything like that. Okay guys, so unfortunately it does look like there are some issues going on with giving out titles, like royal titles and noble titles and all of that. There were a lot of new titles added with the update, but as of now, I have early release, so I am doing this a few days before the release date. It does look like people are having issues, especially if you have Strangerville, to try and get the noble title options to show up. So you can still give them like, okay, so if you go to the titles, you can give them noble title and then this nobility things come up, but you should be able to give give them like Duke and Duchess and Earl and all of that. So I believe Seb is working on that right now. And then as soon as that's fixed, there will be an update. Yeah, but I mean, with this update, like the royal servant thing, I think it's completely worth it. It's also just nice to have a career for your monarch that they can go to when they don't have to actually put in a lot of effort to do because they're the monarch. I am going to go ahead and end this video here. Make sure to check the description below for any links that I mentioned. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this. If you have not already, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!